Hi, it's Deb from Deb's Days. If you were with me yesterday, you know on Tutorial Tuesday I made a cloth face mask with pleats. I showed you a super easy way to do pleats. If you want to skip pleats altogether, today I have another face mask project for you. Today we're making one with just elastic in a casing. You're able to adjust the elastic to fit your face. So if you'd like to try this one instead today, that's what we have up right now. Along with your regular sewing supplies, for this project you will need one piece of fabric measuring 9 inches by 14 inches, mine is 100% cotton, and two pieces of elastic measuring 12 inches each. I'm using the quarter inch wide elastic, but you could use the eighth inch if you'd like. I've added these measurements and the supply list on debsdays.com. There's a link in the description right below this video. First, we're going to take the piece of fabric and fold it over. We're going to stitch around all three open sides, but we're going to leave a space for turning. We don't need to stitch this top side because it's already closed. So I'll start here. I'm going to stitch to right here. I'll stop here. I'm going to pick it up over here again, and then I'm going to stitch all the way around to the end here. I've gone ahead and stitched around those three sides, and I do have a spot left here for turning. Before I turn it, I'm going to go ahead and clip the corners. And after the corners have been clipped, I'm going to go ahead and turn this right side out. You may find to get into the corners, you need to push something up in there. I'm using the um, ends of my scissors. You can use a pencil, a uh, chopstick, a... Uh, Anything you have, even your fingertips would work. All right, I have my opening right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and press this, and then I'm gonna fold this opening under and press it as well. Now I need to go ahead and I'm going to top stitch all the way around all four sides this time. I'm gonna go, oh, maybe about an eighth of an inch, quarter inch, somewhere in between even, doesn't have to be exact. Just I need to make sure I close up this side and then top stitch all the way around. The next thing I want to do is I want to fold this in about, oh, between half an inch and an inch, just a little bit. And then I need to press that down. And the same on the other side, about half an inch. This is going to make a little casing for our elastic. It's not a sharp press, but that's okay. It's just so we know where we're going to be folding in a minute. Now we're going to add the elastic. We're going to, let me turn this this way. It might be easier to see. I'm going to stitch the elastic down right here. And then I'm going to flip and I'm going to stitch the other piece down right here. So there are different ways you can attach elastic. You could tie it in a knot if you wanted to. Um, you could overlap it. I'm just going with the easiest way possible and I'm just going to stitch it in place just right there. It needs to be within this fold piece here before you get to the fold line. That's going to be really important. So I'm just going to go stitch it down on my machine right there. You could even do it by hand if it was nice and sturdy. All right, I did a little straight stitch and a little bit of zigzag back and forth to really hold that in place. Now we're going to do the same with the other side. We're going to make the loop of elastic. And it's going to go, remember, not past this fold line. It's going to go here somewhere. Um, it can be in the middle. It could be up here if you wanted it. I'm going to stitch that one down, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to stitch this. I'm going to get those stitched in place, and I'll be right back. All right, I have both sides done. Yeah, you can tell I didn't really get in the middle there, but that's all right. Now we're going to actually take our um, side piece that we pressed, and we're going to fold it back along that press line. We're going to have... Um, we're going to set the elastic down in there and flip it. Now we're going to go back. You can get it all the way, or you can do a little bit at a time because it will kind of buckle. Um, what you might find easier is to just do half at a time, set it along that kind of channel, and push it up against the fold line. And then we're going to stitch right over this line we already had sewn earlier. When you get to about here, you're going to find you'll be able to let go of this and then go ahead and work your way 
down the rest of it, pushing the elastic up against the fold line and sewing along our previous stitching. And just like that, one side is finished. You'll notice you'll be able to uh, make this pucker as much as you need. Let's go ahead and do this other side next. Fold it at that press line. If you need to repress, go ahead. Make sure your elastic's up against the fold line and then restitch over our previous stitching all the way down. We have the other side finished as well. You can go ahead and pucker this as much as you need to to fit your face. If you didn't like the pleat one we did the other day, this might be a good option for you. Go ahead and try it on and um, see how it fits. If it's too big, it's most likely because the elastic is too long. What you can do is just pull some elastic out, fold it over, stitch it together, and then shove it back in there. And you don't need to do that unless this elastic is too long for your face. But do adjust it. You can make one just for you. You should make one just for you. You may want to make several of these because you will need to wash these after each use. No time at all. We had a face mask made with elastic. No pleats required. If you'd like to see more projects like this one, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And stop by the blog at debsdays.com. You'll find free patterns, supply lists, and links to even more sewing and crafting tutorials. See you next week with another project. Bye.